You're watching Taste the Victory. What's up everybody? We are starting to get so close to the release of Booster Set 8 New Awakening. So let's go ahead and start putting together some decks to get ready for that. I am so excited for this format, not just because I'm a huge fan of the O2 Digimon, but also because this is looking like a really diverse meta predicted right now. And I am excited that after the Booster Set 7 meta. Let's start with a deck that is really hype right now, X Antibody, because it was technically introduced in Booster Set 7. It's getting new support here in Booster Set 8, and it will get even more in the upcoming Booster Set 9. So this is a great long-term investment deck because it becomes really powerful in the upcoming coming sets. X Antibody is a slightly slower deck looking to make the most out of its inheritable effects that rewards the opponent for timing its when digivolving effects well. You're typically going to be hiding in the raising area and then come out when your stack is ready to go OTK or do big damage to your opponent's board. It's a more methodical deck than some in the current meta. Let's start with our rookies and egg and make our way up. First up is Dorymon, of which we are only running 4. We are only running 4 eggs because we want eggs to play specifically into the strategy. You see here that it plays into the X Antibody single stack mechanic of this deck. So in one of your effects puts a Digivolution card under this Digimon, draw 1. This is important to keep up with our resources because we're going to be putting a lot of extra cards underneath one stack but we don't get a draw off of them because they're not technically a Digivolution. So Dorymon helps you keep up that card advantage that you might be losing otherwise. After that we got our Dorumon. Dorumon is a searcher. He reveals the top three and lets you grab an, a card with antibody in his traits or one Kota Tamer. So that's great potential value there off of his search. And then once per turn inheritable, when one of your effects places a Digivolution card under this Digimon, gain one memory. That is really helpful since it'll keep us from passing turn over some of our Digivolutions and let us keep up pressure on our opponent by keeping it our turn when Digivolving. After that is Ryudomon. He is another Digimon with X Antibody in this trace, which is really important for this deck. It really prioritizes the X Antibody trait of the Digimon. He is another searcher, so we want all the consistency in this deck can get. And that is revealed top three. Then you get to add another card with X Antibody in his traits, but this time you get Yuji, which is the tamer associated with him. You, like all searches, you place all the remaining cards at the bottom of the deck. And then it's inheritable is all turns. While this Digimon has X Antibody in its traits, it gains Decoy, which is really nice, a kind of a bonus effect. You mainly just want it for the search, but that does come up in a pinch to protect your other Digimon. Unfortunately, in Booster Set 8, there's a lot of like bouncing to deck, bouncing to hand removal, so it's not as strong Decoy as it once used to be, but it's great to have there. It's nice to have the protection rather than no protection at all. Next up, we got the pretty pricey boy here. There has been a small reprint that brought the price down a bit, but unfortunately it is still kind of up there. But the reason for that is because it's a limited distributed promo and it is incredibly powerful because this card is a really strong utility rookie for the deck and for all black decks really. Your turn, all of your black Digimon with 13,000 DP or more gain piercing. And then it has the inheritable. If a black Digimon has 13,000 DP or more, this Digimon gains security attack plus one. So both effects are incredibly amazing to help put pressure on your opponent's Digimon and their security. And it's really good utility used in a lot of black decks, which is why of the unfortunately high price, because it is a limited distributed promo. This is really important because you want to be able to clear your opponent's board because your removal is otherwise not too powerful. It is kind of situationless deck. So being able to swing over something and still keep up your security checks is really crucial to keeping up momentum in this deck. Next up, we're going to move on to our level fours. The level four count for X Antibody is kind of on the lower end compared to other decks in the Booster Set 8 format, but that's because of their Jogress mechanic, you know, other decks need to stock up on their specific enablers for them. Here we're just going all in on the X Antibody theme. We have two Grumble Mons because they are Black's hybrid, so this is basically just here for hybrid for game. Two is a good number so you don't see them too early and clog your hand. After that, we got Dorugamon. It is an opponent's turn while you have another Digimon in play with X Antibody and its traits, or a card with X Antibody and its traits in is in this Digimon Digivolution cards, this Digimon gains Blocker. So that's nice to have. A lot of times, like Pyodramon will just bottom deck this since it is unfortunately only 5,000 DP, but it's always nice to have the option for Blocker there. And more importantly, it has X Antibody in its traits for our Inheritables. It has the Inheritable, while this Digimon has X Antibody in its traits, it gets plus 1,000 DP. So a DP boost is always nice, especially with an easy to meet condition. Next up, we got Ginryumon. It has only Inheritable effect. Opponent's turn, while this Digimon has X Antibody in its traits, it gains Blocker. Another Digimon with X Antibody in its traits is mainly the main reason we are running this maxed out at 4, but also that is a really good inheritable effect because it lets you be aggressive and still unsuspend and become a blocker on your opponent's turn, making it really hard for them to get any kind of advantage on your field. Ginryu is amazing and we have to run it at 4 for them. Now for our ultimate lineup, we are only running 8 because we want to focus on having X Antibody in our traits for all the synergy of our effects and our inheritables. First up is Doru Grey, which is one of the most important cards in this deck because it is a 3 to Digivolve into, and when Digivolving, you may place one black card with X Antibody and its traits from your hand at the bottom of one of your Digimon sources to prevent effects from deleting or reducing its DP until the end of your opponent's turn. 
Yellow is still going to be a popular color, and then Mastamon has a lot of options to be able to uh, DP minus you, so that protection is really good. But do keep in mind that it is only for that turn, so make sure you time it correctly. And being able to protect yourself from deletion effects is also very nice. Its inheritable is really great too. While this Digimon has X antibody in its traits, it gains security attack plus one. Every main attacker in this deck will have X antibody in its traits, so when you have effects that place other black cards underneath your Digimon, you're going to want to prioritize this to get extra security checks and OTK your opponents. But really, it just comes down to the situation and make sure you assess your board state. After that, we got Hisyaryumon. He is your turn. While one of your effects places a Digivolution card under this Digimon, you may Digivolve this Digimon into a Digimon card in your hand with X antibody and its traits by paying its Digivolution cost. When this Digimon will Digivolve with this effect, reduce the Digivolution cost by one. This is fantastic since our main boss monster, which is going to be attacking for us, is for cost. So this helps reduce that to help keep it your turn without passing turn. And then with our other inheritables like Dorumon, this even reduces it as low as two cost Digivolution sometimes. Really important momentum swinger. And then its inheritable gives you Reboot. Reboot's amazing because then you can go ahead and swing in your opponent's security, be aggressive as you want, and still have a potential blocker with your mega level Digimon next turn. So that makes it really hard for your opponent to retaliate against you. That rounds up the ultimate lineup, which is probably some of the most important utility cards for this deck. After that, we get to the exciting part, the Megas. So we are going to use one of the previous Alphamon introduced in Booster Set 6, since it is X antibody and does enable some cool combos. It has a security effect that adds itself to hand out of security and could potentially stop you from losing game. And then it has when attacking, you may pay up to 5 memory. If you do, this Digimon gets plus 1000 TP for the turn for each memory paid and then end of attack, gain 2 memory. So you could just pay the 2 memory to gain the DP and then get the memory back with its end of attacking effect, which is usually just enough to help you live over most big threats in security. So Alphamon has some really cool utility there to help you potentially beat over some stuff or help stop lethal. Alphamon has great OTK potential and there are combos you can do with it. However, on its own, it's nothing too impressive and relies a lot on its supports, while Orisaryumon and Dorugamon have some utility that they can offer into the current meta on their own, which is why it's only at 1 as we don't want to lean too heavily into the OTK and make it our only viable win con. However, if you want to go more in on that and up it, that's totally a good option. But, he has some really interesting synergy with the new mecha introduced for this deck as well. Oryumon has when Digivolving, you may place one card with X antibody and its traits in your hand on this Digimon, and then delete one of your opponent's Digimon with the play cost of 7 or less, and then your turn, once per turn, when one of your effects places a Digivolution card under this Digimon, this Digimon gets plus 2000 DP and can't be deleted by your opponent's effects until the end of your opponent's next turn. Now, the synergy with Alphamon comes from its Inheritable, Inheritable on a Mega Level Digimon, which is end of attack, once per turn, if this Digimon has Alphamon in its name, unsuspended. So, with the Tamer that we are about to introduce, we have a combo that lets this thing swing, Digivolve, without passing turn and then unspend for even more swings. Pair that with our inheritables off of Doru Greymon security attack plus one, we get some really devastating security checks in with this combo. Oryumon is really good self-sustaining Digimon even on its own. And then as our final mega, we are gonna run Doru Goromon. Doru Goromon has your turn for each card with X antibody and its traits in this Digimon's Digivolution cards. This Digimon gets plus 1000 DP. And then when attacking once per turn, you may place one card with X antibody and its traits in your hand at the bottom of this Digimon's Digivolution cards to delete up to two of your opponent's Digimon with a play cost less than or equal to this Digimon's Digivolution cards. This Digimon is a really good tech choice for the armor matchup if it ends up becoming a popular deck in your area because they will easily delete many of their Digimon. So this, this deck usually has like a stack of sixth or seventh sources and that will hit about most of their important level four Digimon. And even though they can just armor purge and not be entirely deleted, that does set them very far back if you get to remove both stacks by making them having to pay more memory to Digivolve up back into those champions. So Dorogoromon offers a lot of utility in matchups like that. It stops the champions that um, Imperial Dramon likes to play out for three costs to stop them from being able to jog or sing if they weren't able to do it the previous turn. There's a lot of utility for this Digimon and it becomes a pretty big beat stick with its uh, plus 1000 DP. Dorogoromon is also really great in the mirror match because of its high potential DP threshold with its your turn effect. This lets you swing over your opponent's Digimon in the mirror when otherwise you guys are pretty much almost exactly the same DP threshold, giving you a small edge when it comes to the mirror, so it's a good fallback option for the deck. We are done with our Digimon and next we're moving on to our options. First up is Breath of the Gods and this is definitely a tech choice. Imperial Digimon is expected to be one of the absolute best decks in this format and that thing does bounce your Digimon to hand multiple ways either through fighter mode or through Megadeth option card. And this is a single stack deck. This 
hurts to get bounced. X antibody hurts to get that one stack bounce with how many cards you are putting underneath one Digimon. It's a lot of resources invested that is really painful since that is the main way to get around their protection because they have DP minus protection for a turn, they have destruction protection for a turn, but they can't stop bouncing. But with Breath of the Gods, that's their best hope too. Breath of the Gods lets one of your Digimon gain reboot, and then this Digimon can't have his DP reduced or be returned to its owner's hand until the end of your opponent's next turn. All that for only two memory, and then in security effect, your opponent's Digimon can't attack players for the turn. So between this and Alphamon, you have a lot of bombs that just straight up stop your opponent from winning that turn, giving you an extra turn to make a comeback. And then this stops uh, DP reduction again when Yellow is going to be such a popular deck still, and then it also stops the bouncing off of Mega Death. One to two of this is good, but definitely play with this. If you don't even see Imperial Dramon in your local meta, I would just recommend cutting it since this is definitely a meta call. But the utility this card offers is really incredible in my opinion. After that, we go to, I don't even know how to pronounce this option, but it is four cost, main, DD Evolve one, and then you may place one card with X antibody in its trace from your hand at the bottom of the sources of one of your black Dijon with X antibody in its trace, delete one of your opponent's Dijon with the play cost of four or less. So this is the hard, hard counter to armors. If you are scared of armors, you do not have to worry about them with this option. Because not only does it DD Evolve them first, it then deletes afterwards. So this will get rid of the body, unlike a normal deletion effect. They cannot armor purge this because you already DD Evolve the armor Digimon. There, we're running it at two. It could definitely go down to one or even up to three. For our final option, we have Black Memory Boost. This searches your deck, top four, which is a very deep dig, and then you get to delay it later to gain back two memory, which is important to be able to make some plays without passing turn. And then to end out our list, we have our Tamers. We are running seven of them, and we start with Kota. He is start of your turn. If you have two or less memory, set your memory to three, so it's important to guarantee the three memory to make your big plays. And then on play, reveal the top four cards of your deck, add one card with X antibody and traits among them, and bottom deck the rest. And security effect, like any other Tamer, plays it for free. So this is another good dig option between Ryudamon, between Dorumon, and between these Tamers. We have tons of search options for this deck to make sure we never brick. Between Kota and our rookies, we have tons of searches to make sure we have good consistency in the deck. And then that guaranteed memory is important, which is why we're running him. After that, we got Yuji. He is really similar to the Bond Tamers from back in Booster Set 6. He has your turn when one of your Digimon with X-Sensei body and his traits is moved from the breeding area to your battle area, gain one memory and draw one. Sounds a lot like Matt and Tai. And then your turn when one of your black Digimon with X-Sensei body and his traits attacks, you may suspend this Tamer to place one card with X-Sensei body and his traits from your hand under this Digimon at its bottom Digivolution card. So this is the Tamer card that enables a lot of combos with our Hisariumon. You have Hisariumon out on the field, you go ahead and swing, and then you will tap Yuji. Yuji's effect goes off to place a card underneath, then triggering Hisariumon. From there, you can Digivolve either into Alphamon or into Oriumon. You go into Oriumon, and then suddenly you have a 14,000 DP Digimon that could potentially pop something and will have protection for next turn. Or if you go into Alphamon, its end of attacking effect will go off, you'll gain back the two memory, and you'll be able to do more stuff on your turn. Heck, you could Digivolve into Alphamon, put Oryu underneath with the Yuji effect, and now you can suddenly unsuspend, gain more memory plusing off of your swing, and do who knows what else on the rest of your turn. So Yuji is a really good enabler for this deck to be able to get some big check swings turns. That draw and extra memory is also really good to keep up with momentum and put extra resources on your field for big play turns. So that is going to be the deck. X Antibody is a single stack deck, so it's a little bit risky into the meta, but it has a lot of protection to try and make up for it, and it comes down to when you time using these correctly. I really like this list a lot, it's very cool, and there's some interesting combos here that really reward you looking out for good big plays to make. There's a lot of synergy with the inheritable effects. Because of how much this deck relies on its inheritable effects, there is honestly not too much leeway on how you build it, which is why you'll see a lot of the creativity and a lot of the tech choices will come in the options. But that doesn't mean anything is set in stone. Definitely play with ratios to your preferences and let me know how it does for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this list and I hope it does well for you. Let me know any changes you would make and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, remember to stay hungry until you get a taste of victory.